Last season, AJ did a tech story on Woody's new Maverick Shaper Bar Carbide Runners. If you haven't seen that story, make sure you check it out online because he goes over all kinds of interesting and useful information about what the Maverick is and why it's been designed the way it has. Today, I want to expand on that story by talking about how we at Snow Tracks felt the Maverick Shaper Bar worked throughout last season in all the varying conditions we experienced. Before I get to that, though, I suppose a quick refresher would be helpful. The carbide runners bolted to the bottom of your skis actually perform a number of different functions. The first and obviously most important is that they cut into the snow, creating bite as you turn your skis, thus allowing the sled itself to turn. The other functions of the host bar, and more specifically, its carbide insert, are extremely important as well. The carbide portion of the runner is designed to protect the host bar, which in turn protects your entire ski when it contacts hard surfaces such as asphalt or rocks. The carbide insert itself is responsible for providing steering bite on hard surfaces like ice. The Maverick is Woody's newest design, and it's what we put on pretty much every sled in our fleet last winter. We really wanted to put it through its paces and see not only how well it performed, but also how long it would last and just how durable it was. The design of the Maverick host bar is unique in Woody's lineup. It's the tallest host bar they offer, which means it penetrates farther into the snow and creates more steering bite than the shorter designs. It also has an interesting shape with narrower middle profile and indents on each side. This shape essentially grabs more snow as the ski is turned, which in turn creates more steering precision. Woody's offers the Maverick with carbide inserts in four, six, and eight inch lengths for the factory skis and a 10 inch version for CNA Pro skis. The incredible bite of eight and 10 inch carbide lengths makes steering extremely heavy, in our opinion, too heavy. So we backed things off to the six inch length and found that on pretty much any Polaris, Arctic Cat, or Yamaha models, even the heavier four stroke, this is the length that worked best. With Arctic Cats and Yamahas, steering was noticeably more precise and predictable than with the stock runners. Turn in was quicker, but holding a line through a corner was easier because of the constant bite you could rely on as conditions in the corner changed. Polaris sleds already have incredibly precise steering, so when we added the Maverick with a six inch carbide, it simply enhanced all the excellent handling traits of the Matrix chassis without introducing any negative ones. Steering remained light, inside ski lift remained completely predictable, and overall steering feel remained industry leading. The biggest and most noticeable difference was an overall increase in steering bite and therefore confidence while pushing harder and faster in the corners. This extra bite helped balance out the extra rear traction provided by the pre-studded tracks we'd spec'd on most of our Polaris sleds. To put it more technically, understeer was minimized better than any other carbide we've ever tested without pushing too far into an oversteer situation no pun intended. On a sled with more ski pressure, like a Skidoo, we found the Maverick host bar with a four inch carbide option provided more than enough bite without going overboard. In fact, we found this setup to actually settle the nervous feeling of the Skidoo front end just a bit, but every little bit does count. Turn in was every bit as precise as with the stock Skidoo runner, but it felt like twitchiness was very much minimized mid corner. At higher speeds, both in a straight line and cornering, the Maverick also seemed to settle the Skidoo front end just a bit. Skidoo's already bite extremely hard, that's never been a problem, but balancing that bite with predictable handling traits has been a challenge, one the Maverick seems to help with. When we went to a six inch carbide, the negative handling traits returned, which was interesting, but not overly surprising, so we suggest sticking with a four inch option. On top of all of these excellent handling improvements Woody's Maverick Carbide Runner provided, there's also a noticeable improvement in overall carbide runner durability. Woody's always uses only the highest quality materials for their host bars and carbide inserts. These materials are, simply put, more durable than the stuff that comes on your skis from the factory. On top of that, the Maverick is a physically taller host bar, which means there's simply more material to burn off as the season progresses. Most factory carbide runners only last a few weeks of early season running around here. Mid-season riding is easier on them, but even in perfect snow conditions, a stock runner will likely only last a month or so of steady use. We can get double the early season running out of a Maverick, and even in lower snow years, we can go the entire rest of the season without having to change them again. So not only are you getting a noticeable improvement in terms of handling across the board, but you're also getting a dramatic increase in durability, which will definitely translate into money saved. When you really look at it, there doesn't seem to be any excuse not to run a Maverick and a whole bunch of compelling reasons to grab a set before the season even starts.